What is going on guys? Welcome back. Some commentary for you. Maximum Football 2018. I've just spent some time with the most recent beta of this game and I wanted to go through some things. Interestingly enough, I did not realize this game didn't have stiff arms. Um, stiff arms have been added and the interesting thing I say is you kind of don't realize these things until you see them, but when you think about a a running back or whoever the case may be stiff arming you have to also understand that both hands have to be free to do a stiff arm from either direction so with that said no pun intended almost hand in hand the ball carrier is now able to carry the ball in either hand um, there also is some pass leading that's being worked on here there's no user interface that tells you that you're leading the pass or the pass is being led so it's hard to really know when it's happening um, but I will tell you I, I believe that I'm seeing it on certain routes particularly the deep routes um, scrambling logic has been improved I wouldn't say so much the logic is improved as much as the arc that they take to get out of the pocket if you've played this game in the past or you've seen footage of this game undoubtedly you've seen a scenario where the quarterback runs into the line as he tries to get out of the pocket and, and while in any game you're never gonna say well this will never Ever, ever happen again uh, it seems less likely to happen with the kind of arc they take out of the pocket to a degree as far as the passing and I think just to kind of go back to the past leading for a bit passing this game to me is a little bit difficult because of how quickly the coverage tends to close and it's really noticeable in deep routes I've tried it with different quarterbacks but there's a tendency for the corners to close up and kind of clamp down if you will on a receiver when you're trying to go deep and the problem that I have with this is let me say not to take a knack on any other game but to me maximum football has the best timing of any game on the market currently for a football game period there's just the the way that this game plays as far as speed is concerned it is a comfortable game to play as a user uh, you can actually sit back and you can watch blocks you can sit back and you can watch routes develop and you don't have that kind of clock in your head of okay I can instantly get sacked here you you really get to watch a play develop and that's really a change of pace from what we've seen from games the past few years so when you have that ability to, to read what's happening you're trying to I don't want to say exploit that but when you're trying to complete a play after having read it it's kind of difficult to see a corner kind of just shut a receiver down at the very last second because he slows down to look back or the corner speeds up because the ball is getting there but it is something and I think if you see the gameplay that's a little bit noticeable um, some problems that people have had in the past were kind of some of the sound effects the grunts were a big cause of concern I would say that a lot of the background noises have been changed there's some new blocking sounds but for the most part everything is kind of subdued so while it's there you know obviously subliminally your brain is saying okay we're hearing football noises in a football game nothing stands out out as distinctly as it did before and it's a really good change to the game um, the run plays have also been tweaked a little bit kind of to go back if you played it if you've seen it you know that you almost had a, a propensity for the outside runs to get stopped quickly by a defensive tackle or a defensive end and that's kind of been cleaned up a little bit there, there's still that win and loss and it still can't happen but it seems like the play is successful to the play art to get to the outside more than it was before um, I think uh, the biggest problem people are gonna have with this game and, and let's just get it out of the way now is adapting to the controls and I'll be upfront with you you know I've talked to, to David at length in fact I've probably given him more feedback about the controls not being uh, adaptable than anything else um, I realize for a lot of people for me it's a challenge it's a hurdle but I've really as I've spent more time with the game I've gotten more comfortable with the controls and I'm to the point where I'm okay now going back and forth it took a while it was a lot and then there was some frustration there you know going back and forth from one game to the next but I will say uh, once you get used to them it is a lot easier and more natural than you think it will be um, but again I'd say right now you know the pace of this game to me is one of the biggest things that it offers I think when you look at the gameplay you're gonna notice that right away uh, having you know being able to sit there and compare one game to the next this game's pace makes it look smoother it makes it look a lot more realistic as far as reactions are concerned and I do like that so with that said again you know obviously I did get to spend some time with it this evening I'll give some feedback to David as well as hopefully get that gameplay approved for you guys I appreciate again you guys checking out a, a multi-video day if you will but you know that I'll be back very shortly with more commentary